Okay, okay, here we go. Huh? Headset? Headphones? Headset. Hello everyone, it is me, Jedi Man, and I am here playing more Crash Bandicoot. Uh... You know where I was last time. I kinda rage quitted. I'm trying to play this again. If you hear echo in the background, I'm sorry. Oh crap. Alright. Come on. Oh, you saw her shoes? Sonny, when you see somebody's shoes, you're supposed to say, What are those? Okay, good job. Okay. Come on. What the? What in the world? What in the world? What is this? I'm kind of stuck in the wall here. Ah, there we go. I don't know what that was. Yeah. What? What do you mean I got hit? That makes no sense. Up. Uh oh. She turned into an angel. Okay. Jump. Jump. Oh, what? Come on. If I could just get to the end and see where I stand, then that's all right. Oh my gosh, I hate these this part right here. What? Come on! I jumped on top of the turtle. Saw her shoes. Sonny, what are you supposed to say when you see shoes? Yeah. Hey, mom, non-violent game. Uh. Ooh, that was a close one. Jump. Jump. Jump, jump, nope, jump, 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 and jump, 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 what? Jump, then, then jump. In, jump, slide, jump, 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 spin, jump, hit, stop, jump, spin, come on. Go, man, what? Come on, that's just garbage.
Oh, come on. What? Dude, what is this? What is this? Come on. Jump on top. And go in. Go in. Boy, boy. Boy. What? Come on. Dude. Wish you would get incinerated. Like, I know that's bad to ask of a little girl to get incinerated, but... Sorry. It's just like, Crash gets in incinerated whenever he gets burned, but, like, she doesn't for some weird reason. It is kind of cool how they added her and just rolled with it. Dude, what does that mean? Like, I jumped on top of the turtle's head. It took too long. This is gonna be the worst. Oh. I was about to get Sly Cooper too. Like the Sly Cooper remastered version. I had it for PS Vita, but I kind of sold it all on my almost most of my PS Vita stuff just to get the PS4. Now I gotta get all these games back. They're low price anyway now. That's one thing I'm happy about. I'm not doing any online services for my games anymore because they could just take it away from me. I did not know that. I have not touched a PlayStation game in forever. I mean, I did my Vita, but I never downloaded games online on my Vita. I know some people say, well, dude, they've always been doing that. How do you not, like, like I said, how do you not know that if you download games online, they can take it away from you whenever they feel like it? If they deem that you kind of violated in any other way, like, nope, you don't get your games anymore. I didn't know that. I really didn't. I really did not know. I wish I would have known. I would have just said, "Nope, screw it." All my shit is gonna be online. I mean, on disc. Right now, if I get some of the games that I bought or could buy right now online, it costs just as much as it first came out. But. Come on! I know I jumped on that turtle! Dude, this game, gosh. If I would have known that if you buy games online, they could just take it away from you, then I would have never done that. Jesus Christ. Oh my 
Dude, what do you mean? I am jumping directly on this turtle's head. Come on, Mario's more accurate than this. I know it is not my, like, my head. I am hitting on top of that turtle. I know I'm hitting this turtle. I know I am. It is not my eyes. Turtle keeps on. Finally, I can pass that spot. I think I'm almost there to the end. Bruh! Are you joking? Dude, what absolute trash that was! Alright, cool. Come on. Can't lose Aku. That was an Aku moment right there. But if I could have used Aku Aku right there, then I wouldn't have died. Jesus Christ. Seriously, I Come on, dude! I am jumping on this turtle's back! Like, for the last few tries, I keep on losing Aku because of this. Like, I know I am jumping on this turtle's back. I know what I miss. I know what I am seeing. Dude, what? I was about to say. Like, I know what, when I jump. Hold on, dude. Like, I, the guy who just messaged me, guy, girl, don't discriminate. Let me just find a spot so I can collect myself. Shit! Fuck! <sighs> I don't understand how I died there. I don't want to understand. Hold on. What you say? Oh, well, hello there. Come on. I, have my, I don't have my OBS set up right now. I'm just, just streaming straight from PlayStation. I'm just really annoyed at... Oh, come on! I'm just really annoyed at this game. It's a good game. Never played again. I think I said this on uh, one of the streams. Never played Crash Bandicoot. What? What garbage? I, I was on the box. Never played Crash Bandicoot. Only this, only there. It's like re remakes, rehash, what, whatever they're called. I only played those. Right now, I'm doing a time trial, so I can get one of those onks. Like, I have one channel that I just do the story. The other one, I just do the challenges. Try to get all the. All the yeah, the gems and the lockables. So that's that's so cold. So 
Coco is challenging. What? Come on, you girl, jump. There we go. Next, note to self. When you try to get on another platform when there are turtles around, just just spin. Just spin. That that would save you time, effort, and an aku aku. What? That guy was not even pointed at me. Sorry if my voice sounds a little off. Like, what? Oh my gosh. I'm a little sick here, so one time it'll go high pitch, another time it'll just go deep. And sometimes it'll be a mixture of both. Oh my gosh. I don't understand. Okay, so you're telling me I hit that turtle on these turtles on spot as well, but that moment when I go to that certain platform and get that turtle, it's suddenly a problem. That makes sense. Freaking turtles, dog. down sometimes. I'm using a directional button, not a handle. Oh, frick! Got distracted again. Oh, come on. I jumped a little too early. I'll admit that I jumped a little too early. What? Thanks. Almost. I lose one more time. I might as well just quit this level and try another time travel. I mean, time trial. Find of course. Here's the part where I died a few times. Yeah, I don't mind that. I had to lose that one or else. I would have lost the year because I didn't jump at a certain time. Okay. Damn. I'm totally out of it right now. It's too sick. What? Come on, dude. J Bruh. What? I don't know. I highly doubt I'm getting a blue honker at this point. Right now, I just want to complete this goddamn thing. If I don't get it, then oh well. 
I'm moving on. I'll come back to it. Don't fucking care. Oh shit, this level is so fucking bullshit. I- oh! Wow, how did I survive that? Oh, what? I was right there, too. What is this? Oh, my gosh. I was right there. I was right to the end. Give me a moment. Dude, I was right there at the end. I need to get like a, an adapter, a Wi-Fi adapter for my desktop. Because right now I'm thinking like, because I only use Ethernet cable for my uh, stream. My if I choose to do my streams on uh, OBS. Wow! All right, all right, I messed up. I messed up. Need fresh start. Fresh start. Okay. Yeah. As I was saying. Yeah. Um, for my OBS, cause when I get an achievement or something like that, for some reason the, the PlayStation decide decides to block it. I'm like, oh, you can't see the achievement. Why? I don't know. That's why. Because why? Whatever. But I'm saying like, hey, when I get an achievement, you guys better see it too. I want you guys to see it. Uh, next time I want to go over the achievements I got so far that some people couldn't see. I mean, there was, there's one or two achievements that you guys can see because like, uh, I was playing on OBS on the other channel. But you couldn't see it. Some of the other ones that I just play on PlayStation. Because PlayStation has an easier setup. God damn it. I should not have taken that jump. Like, PlayStation, you just press a few buttons and boom, you're done. But the. Uh, what I have, the Elgato, it works for my desktop, thank god, because I've, I've had an Elgato for like the longest, but couldn't use it because. My laptops were not powerful enough. And no, I did not buy a whole desktop just for streams. I mean, you can think that, but I'm just gonna be honest. I, I did it for like PC gaming and for streams, yes, yes. So all the games I bought on Steam could finally work when I had, what the fuck? When I had a PC with it. Dude! Alright, let me scoot over... WHAT?! What was I? Oh yeah. Um, desktop computer. Got it to play my games for PC. And it works. Elgato works. And all the other bullshit that I had. this game. More of the story is, I got some new shit, this shit works, and I'm using this shit soon. I need to use it some more. More than usual. I'm gonna be playing some DS games, a lot of other games as well. And it's gonna be pretty awesome when I do it. What?! I won't give you any wampa fruits. Or like, Aku, Aku, like, 
helmets or masks. Yeah, that's the word. They don't give you any masks. Only when they feel like it. Other people have been requesting me to play the other sides of the game. And I'm like, yeah, I want to play the other sides of the Insane Trilogy. I mean, I do. But I want to just jump into it without me knowing anything. I should have never taken that jump. I, I want to know how this one ends. I want to know uh, in order so I can know the story. I mean, there are those stories where it just doesn't make any sense. Like, the first one can make sense, start a lore or whatever. And the second one doesn't make any sense because it contradicts some things on the first one. But the lore says it does make sense because Jack's hands, that's why. Well, this one is a much more simpler storyline rather than a Kingdom Hearts or a Final Fantasy storyline. So I want to know what this one is. I'm pretty sure is basically Crash went ahead, goes ahead, uh, beats the bad guy and whatnot. Saves the girl, Bandicoot, whatnot, and yeah, just basically wins. I mean, that's the gist. That's just basically the two sets of story. But I want to know how he does it. Is there like another new nemesis that pops up, like, or something like that? Because I read, I read that some most of this information on the week. I want to see it play out. The way I'm playing it. Just going back and forth with challenges and, and the story. That's pretty cool. Am I gonna complete it anytime soon? Yeah, I will. I'll complete it. I'll try to finish off the because I because I want to move on with this game. Because Star Wars Battlefront 2 is gonna come out in like what was it, like six more days. Wasted a lot of time with that one guy. Yeah, I want to get this over with before I won't be able to play it anytime soon because of me getting down front too. And World War II. I got a few games that I need to play. I have them here, but I just haven't touched it. Doing something, what is it? Oh, what? Oh, I saw an Aku Aku. Oh man, it was it's been right there that whole time. Oh, I just realized that. I'm like, I've seen it multiple times, but I'm like, I thought that was just my screen at first. I don't care if I'm like a little bit off and I just wasted a lot of time there. I kinda need it. Nope, you didn't touch it. Even though you swear. You swear on your freaking life. What the hell? Be right back.
Oh, that's cute. That's cute, Coco. Whoa, what in the world? What in the world was that all about? Please, someone, please explain what in the world just happened. Why did her phone explode? I need to go back and save that. When I leave this stream, the moment I leave this stream, I am gonna find that, make a gif out of that, and just just post it on Reddit. Like, why did her phone explode? Most like they're gonna say like, uh, I don't know. They probably just put it in there just to be funny. But no, they're like seriously, I want to know why did her phone explode from taking pictures. I didn't see your screen name, but, uh, what do you- what do you think? Why do you think it exploded? Kind of weird thing to put in the game. Huh. What? You don't need eggs. No, it's too late. Friends are talking telling me about black what? So my friends are telling me about this anime called Black Clover. Black Clover. Is it good? What the frick? See, this is why it's hard to talk and play this game at the same time because I don't pay attention. The moment I lose concentration is the moment I lose something important to me and I die. But anyway, Black Clover is another Naruto, basically. That's basically what it is. It's basically another freaking Naruto, except instead of ninjas, it's wizards, and instead of, like, uh, chakra, it's mana, and this guy, first he was a nobody, but then he gets some sort of magical beast inside of him, and then now he's a badass with a whole ton of power, he's screaming out the same bullshit, uh, Naruto was screaming out, except only adjusted to the wizard standpoint. Does that make it a bad anime? No. Does that make it original? Kinda. Granted, like I said before, it is like... The same premise, but yet in a different standpoint. But there has been... A plethora, a plethora of animes that has like these dudes, uh... And dudes and dudettes transported into a game world and they're trapped and they have to fight in order to survive. But the, the plot is actually... Some plots are actually well thought out. Some don't really do much, but it's just good, just, just good to watch. It just depends on your point of view. My point of view is it's okay, not anything really special, but isn't an entertaining match.
Dude, how long have I been stuck on this level? And how many times I'm gonna lose Aku Aku, like seriously? Man, I wish I could play like some of the my DS games and stuff that I got. I'm gonna show them to you guys. I mean, I can. That would mean I would have to hook up my uh, computer. And again, granted, my dude, what do you mean? Like I, like I'm trying to say, granted, mind you, that this is all. I forgot what I was even gonna say. I do have Overwatch. I might play Overwatch. I haven't played in a long time. They're apparently releasing another new character. Well, I guess it has been a while since they released uh, Doom this. That's the. I think that's the last time I played Overwatch. What Doomfist was all about? It was all the new hot shit. Now they got another one and like a few new maps. If you know me, you know I've been playing way too much Rainbow, so I'm trying to branch out. But that's mostly my channel now. First, I started out just playing some silly little Flash games. Then I got into Lee, but then I didn't understand the fucking premise. I didn't really bored the hell. I mean, the only reason why I got Lee was because other people told me about Lee. Like, dude, you play Lee, you gotta play Lee, you gotta play Lee. And then I got into Smite, Warframe, other bullshit. And then now I'm here. I have Metal Gear, but I haven't even played that thing either. I mean, I have... What? Dude, shouldn't I... I shouldn't die from that, because that's basically where Aku Aku's uh, other helmet was. That makes no real sense. I wasted way too much time there. You know what, fuck it. Doom, but I never finished it. And Doom is a fun game. I'm gonna play it again. I'm gonna just erase everything and start all over. That's another thing on my screen. I got a lot of games to play, a lot of times to stream it. I'm not sure, like, I've been thinking about this Nintendo Switch, like, everyone's getting, what the hell, everyone's saying, um, I even met a few of my friends online, after a while when the Switch came out, I said, oh dude, I'm gonna get the Switch, I'm gonna get the Switch, and I 
what about you? Are you gonna get it? And I said, maybe. I mean, there is one game I want to play, and it's already been it's been out for like what? How many days? A week? Maybe less? I don't know. Everyone is giving it 10 out of 10s or 9 out of 10s. It's like, oh gosh, this is this is game of the year material, and some people even claim, oh, this is game of the year like indefinite. Oh my gosh, man, Mario Odyssey, holy shit. Uh, I've seen gameplay of it, this short gameplay. Yeah, I would, I'm gonna get it one day. Just not uh, like right now. I'm still waiting for more games because there will be that point where Mario Odyssey will just freaking irritate me to the point where I'm like, you know what, let me play something else on my Switch. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of games. I won't have a lot of games on my Switch. That's the only goddamn problem. Some people say, hey, uh, there's this game for the Switch. Oh, there's this game for the Switch. Well, the problem is, I've already played those games and not on the Switch. It is on PC or on another console. So, yeah, kind of uh, like unbalances each other. Kind of balances it out. Not unbalances it out. Like half the shit, the indie game friendly, whatever. Dude, I had I've been had these indie games on my PS Vita. So there's no I'm gonna buy them again just to make me feel like I actually spent something worth What is with these turtles? I swear to god, what is with these turtles? Like I know I hit that turtle's freaking head! What is with these turtles in the game? I know I hit that turtle's head. Or back or whatever. I hit its shell. <sighs> As I was saying, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what I'm talking about. Like, I'm not just gonna sit here and pretend I, I made a justified purchase with all those indie games. No, Nintendo's gonna have to quickly make some more games for the Switch for me, even, for me to even think about it. I mean, I still may maybe get it because like Black Friday and Cyber Monday is coming up, so they might lower the price. It's just I'm gonna have to keep an eye out because right now, so far, it doesn't look like they're gonna do it. It doesn't really look like they might, they, they're gonna lower it. Cause right now, I look on Amazon, like where it was stocked, but now it's not even stocked anymore. They say, oh, sorry, we're out of stock. I mean, there is, uh... I read a news article saying that Nintendo Switch Nintendo is gonna make uh, a well substantial amount of switches this time. <sighs> yes! I made him some milk, he didn't drink it. I made him some milk, he did not drink it! Too bad. I don't even think I put that milk in the fridge. I don't know if it's still good or not. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to get this. Nice if they added one per fruit in these time trials so when you get like a certain number it could uh trigger Oh my gosh 
I'm sorry, what did you say? Draw. No, no, come on, don't die. Ha! Ah, what is it that my mom cannot do? Get up and walk a certain distance just to turn off a fucking light. Makes fucking sense. And that shit is literally two inches away. Oh. Okay, now I'm back. Watch out, Coco. You you press the self-destruct button. Don't do it, Coco. Don't do it, Coco. I'm waiting to see if she's doing it. Or was that like a one-time thing? Yeah. I don't know what that was. I think that was a one-time thing. What other bullshit? what I mean? Like, every time I spin, I should be able to hit the other dude. Hey. 
Thank you. I wasn't, I didn't turn early enough. Fuck. See, you have to turn early for this one, and for that one I have to not turn at all for, for me to actually hit it. I don't see these types of games anymore. I'm gonna mostly find them on Steam. The good ones, anyway. Like, it's always about the shooters, not the multiplayer. Like, people just stopped making these. Like, granted, these things are really good. Like, I wish there were more of these things. Like, I'm just saying. If there's any in the like there have has been those that tried, but I say that they, they don't really go they're not really up to par with something, but I haven't played a hat in time, that's a game that I wanna play. Uh, a hat in time, that's one there's what other game that I say I wanted to play. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I asked a lot of friends to help me. With the decision to get more single player games. See, that is that bullshit right there. Fuck me. See, the moment, the moment I get like an Aku Aku twice. I feel like I'm invincible at some point, and then I just get utterly killed. I get marauders because I I felt like I'm safe. Dude, how long am I gonna get? stuck on this damn thing until I actually win something. This thing was hard enough on its own when I first tried to play, now I gotta do a speedrun. See what I mean? Like, what the hell? Oh, come on, it didn't even start igniting yet. And crazy said it's not bullshit it's just it's just the way the game is and that's the gaming mechanic the gaming mechanic will tell you if you landed or not but if you didn't land if you think you landed it they say nope you didn't all right it's a computer the computer doesn't fucking lie it'll tell you if you landed it or not and you'll be happy when you think that you didn't land it you did land it Dude, again, it didn't even ignite yet. Dude, how long have I been streaming this? I do not want to play this game anymore. Well, this level. You know what? Screw this level. Screw this level. I'm moving on. I'll come back to this level next time. This level is fucking garbage. And the thing is, the worst has not even... is not even yet to come. Excuse me. So I'm trying to complete this side like all arcs. Oh my gosh, another climbing section. This is what I hate. What the hell?
What the? Oh my gosh, I was trying to hit it towards the piranha plant. See, I feel like this game only hits it by chance. That's why crazy is you gotta take your time with it. Like, it's about to be 12 o'clock here. Like, when it hits 12, I'm just gonna watch the rest of my new uh, anime, the new episode of Dragon Ball Super. I really think Dragon Ball Super is overrated. Like, the Dragon Ball ended for me after the GT. I feel like GT should have been, like, the true, true heir to the Dragon, to the Dragon Ball franchise. That's what I believe. Everyone said GT is shit, and it, it really I feel hurt, but I really do. I feel so hurt when they talk about GT like that. I feel like GT is the original the way it should have been. The Super... I don't know what to say about Super. All I know is that it's there. It's there. It's what Toriyama says. Oh, yep. It's this is the next. This is the next Dragon Ball episode. This is this is Goku's new form, Super Saiyan God, or whatever. And I'm like, whatever, dog. You say potato. I say potato. Did I earn anything? Oh shit, I picked, I picked yes. Yeah, whatever Toei. Whatever Toei. I don't fucking believe that. Because like, there's like this one episode, spoilers, uh, Kale is basically like throwy looking at this female character. We're gonna have confidence in her herself and be quiet. Doesn't really think to herself up to par, but then guess what? She's fucking she's the new female bro and yeah, I'm like, alright, awesome. And the fight scenes are pretty cool. But then there's this part where this female bro somehow goes up against Super Stan frickin' God. Hold on, let me die. I wasn't trying to get that three right there. I'm trying to get all of these yellow boxes. Anywho. Yeah, so she she fucking goes to get up against Super Saiyan God Goku. And I'm saying, you know what? Fucking bullshit. She ran into a Kamehameha from Super Saiyan God and came out with zero fucking scratches. And I'm like, dude, fucking bullshit. Dude, so as much as it's entertaining to see Goku get his ass whooped again, dude, you, you could have thought of another less bullshit way than that. And, oh shit. and let me tell you right now, as much as I love Dragon Ball, I'm not a Dragon Ball fan, alright? There's only some fucking animes I'm really... So, alright, I need to die, because like, that just... What the fuck? This is why what Crazy said to be patient, you have to be patient. Fuck all of that. Fuck all of it. I'm dying. Watched it, watched the episodes, season whatever was going, one of the episodes, one of the seasons where Frieza was just, just hand fisting Goku when he first turned, turned Super Saiyan, that, those episodes dragged on way too long for almost an entire season, and I, and I found out, not recently, but a, a long time ago, I found out that, oh, because, like, the anime, was going to move faster than the manga. And I'm like, seriously? That's, that's why you have to halt you. That's why you have to do that shit? Because it's going faster than the manga? Are you serious? 
I'm pretty sure there are more efficient ways to get your Dragon Ball on without having to halt the progress of the manga and the anime. Seriously. And even if it was true, uh, isn't it? You, you could just, oh, I don't know, fucking say, alright. Um, because of some inconveniences, the fucking episode, the anime episodes are gonna be fucking post postponed. Alright? Like, what's so hard about saying that to, the, to our fucking faces instead of making an entire season just like Goku and Frieza fighting? That's kind of lame. It's kind of cheap if you ask me. Because I want a DVD collection with almost an entire fucking season of them just talking and throwing a few punches every episode. Damn, that's not mostly me about that now. Saying I don't care about your I mean your drama and your background from move to plot four, but I don't wanna focus on it most of the goddamn time, man. That's that's freaking annoying. It's annoying as hell. Yeah, I get it, alright? There's your problem. Here's why you're doing it. Alright, now let's fight and let's not go back to that problem anymore. I mean, on a television series, I would understand. Like, every few episodes, you gotta bring it back to it. But seriously, like, non-stop for, like, every episode is really annoying. Yes, dude, I get it. Now shut the hell up and kill each other. Fuck me. I tried to retreat. I tried to move back, but I was already too far. I hate this guy. I always forget to pass him up. I always forget to jump over him. There we go. Yay, I got a blue. Oh yeah, and the internet, and I'm looking at you, you furries, went ahead and, uh, loved these two to four characters that came out of Dragon Ball. In the beginning of their little space tournament, like there was this bunny, and there was this cat thing, and uh, their art was insane for those two. Wait, hold on, let me go back real quick. Let's display the leaderboard. What would I have to? Get? I would have to get like. 48 seconds to even think about getting class. Huh, I see. Alright, Jewel Dennis? I have a friend named Jewel Dennis? And I have someone named- I Oh! I kill you for cash. I, I remember. I know him. Okay. Alright, I'm almost done with, with these the parts of these challenges. Uh, okay. no, uh, I think in that temple over there is going to be my next stop, next boss. I have a feeling. Like, because I already did Ripper Roo. So after this level, go so on next two levels. Uh, actually, dude, this one, the one after that, the one that I'm seeing right next to that boulder, and that will be the next boss. I haven't seen it. Okay. Seriously, I just need to do this part. 
but for some reason I keep on dying and I hate that. Give this another shot. Okay, so it does give you one per, like one per three. All right. Oh, a bunch of PlayStation Two games that I would love to show off. The only fucking problem is that uh, like I'm going to need. Another setup, dude. What the fuck? All right, I'm gonna need another setup. Like, there's like this little converter where I can use my uh, audio video cord for my PlayStation 2. I plug it in to this little output input I need, and I can have an HDMI cord. And with that HDMI cord, I can just go ahead and plug it into my audio. Start playing my PlayStation 2 game, which is pretty cool. There are some PlayStation 2 games I would want to get. Like I remember when I had Cartoon Network Racing. That was coming. I actually really liked it because it unlocked like actual episodes. I remember Cow and Chicken. Dude, I think I remember a lot of old shows that came on that just that just never really stuck with me. I mean some granted were really good. Others were just really fucking weird. Like Cow and Chicken. I honestly thought Cow and Chicken was stupid. Uh and just dumb. But it did have its moments, I'm not gonna lie. It did have its moments. There were some moments where I was all like, Alright, alright, this, this episode is pretty lit. This episode's pretty tight. Uh, other episodes, I was all like, Nope, this is fucking dumb. That is dumb. What they're doing is dumb. They had a, that episode with Johnny Bravo. They had Johnny Bravo in there, which is my fucking favorite. Uh, but out of most of my favorite was um, Courage the Cowardly. <laughs> Courage the Cowardly Dog will always be one of my favorites. I think I think I have top five classic ones, like classic TV shows and all. But out of Cartoon Network in general. Where is the Cowardly Dog? Wait, some of them were not even are on, on Cartoon Network. I mean, they moved from Cartoon Network to Boomerang. So I guess it still counts as Cartoon Network. You know what? I have a huge list of my favorite cartoon shows. There were so many cartoon shows that I used to watch that I would miss some of them, feel off about it, but I know they played these with me. Uh, and it spans against. A few different time zones. Time slot. What was one? Okay. Like I remember Kids Next Door. That was one of my favorites. But on the tip, like, okay. Tip top of the list. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Next one. Uh, Flintstones, Jetsons. And these are the classic ones. I remember Popeye. Like Popeye the Sailor Man. What the fuck? Oh, I had to be careful there. Oh, it's not to think, like, I have to finish this shit in, like, 48 seconds, but, like, no. Alright, yeah, I have to die. Yeah, that, that took way too much of my time. That took up way too much of my time. I cannot be doing that. Is he good? 
Huh? Is Sunny okay? I keep rushing this time because all this should be familiar and I do remember each and every um it's just I try to fault for it and not stop it. That right there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die right there. Okay, dude, I'm gonna be patient. I'm saying, yeah, sure, okay. Fuck. Some of these jumps, you have to hold the X button. I'm like, you have to hold it for a long period of time. Like I said before, like the controls, the controls are a little rough. If I've been playing on these directional buttons for so long, it kind of feels unnatural. I think it feels so unnatural to play on this analog stick again. That's what I was doing at first when I started playing Crash. Just analog stick, analog stick, analog stick. Until I started trying the direction button. I like the direction button is out far more I said, you know what? Let me switch this up. Let me do analog. Right now I'm doing analog. Really, it's not really any different. This one, like, rolls a little better. I just fucked in the sunscreen. What the fuck? Yeah, I mean, like, I know I jumped on that turtle's fucking head, but it says I didn't. I know I jumped on that turtle's fucking head. Oh, 
I need that off. Seriously, I just want to get a blue, but I think me restarting this shit like twice, I think I lost my blue at this point. Yeah, I think I lost blue. I'm pretty sure for me to get blue, I would have to be like 2 minutes at 50 seconds at least. I think I lost it. <sighs> yeah, there we go. Dude. <sighs> I hate this part of the level. Dude, I really don't want to start this level again. I bet there's an achievement. It's okay, you went ahead and got something. 